Hey everybody, this video brings us out to Christiansburg, Virginia. And the reason why we are in Christiansburg, Virginia today, right off of Interstate 81, is because I am heading back down south, back down to Florida. This is all the further I made it last night, and I honestly have no idea why. My GPS took me some weird, crazy sort of roundabout way. I'm not sure why it did that. It was honestly smooth sailing. I, I hit no bad traffic, I hit no, no bad weather but this is all the further I made it last night. I honestly thought I would at least get to North Carolina, but that did not happen. So today I've got to make up for some, uh, some lost time. I do not know why I'm only in Virginia. I'm only maybe like an hour or so outside of North Carolina. But again, this is all the further I made it today for, for whatever reason. So I have a lot of driving to do. I have about like 10 more or so hours apparently on the road, but you always tack on at least a couple extra hours because you know, pee breaks and and lunch and dinner and, and things like that. Maybe I will hit some traffic. So always tack on a couple extra hours to whatever your GPS says. That's usually how it goes. So I don't know, maybe like 13 more hours until I actually make it to uh, my final destination. I've got, some, um, I've got some driving to do. But before we do that, before we leave this rest area here, again, in, in Christiansburg, Virginia, I wanna show you guys something interesting. It's something overly amazing, but something that makes this rest area kind of cool, kind of interesting in my opinion. It's what makes this rest area rock to be more exact we're actually here at virginia rest area mile 108 again off interstate 81 if that means anything to any of you guys maybe you've actually been to this rest area before this is where i slept last night right here in vanabelle parked right in front of this giant boulder look at this this giant rock here that adorns the very front of the rest area this is actually pretty awesome and this is just one of many giant boulders here on the property there's no sign indicating as to why these are here or what these are about my guess is these were just maybe rocks that um were were in the way when they were were building this rest area and they actually use them to to ad get adorned the front of the the rest area and um as some as some decor i have no idea why these are here but there are tons of them and they are pretty awesome i know it's a rock but i'm just i'm into this kind of stuff it's honestly probably just the kid in me, just the, the, the five-year-old in me that um, is obsessed with this kind of stuff because I can just picture as a, as a five-year-old, as a, as a little kid, pulling over to this rest area and just seeing these giant boulders and having to climb them. I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm gonna be 41 soon and I'm tempted to climb these. I kind of want to climb these. Before I, before I started filming, there were families over here putting their kids on these, taking photos with these giant rocks. There were some teenagers hanging out on top of these as well. So I'm sure over the decades, thousands and thousands and thousands of people have stopped here and gotten their picture taken with these giant rocks. And honestly, look at that view right there. I don't blame anybody who wants to sit there and get their photo taken. That, that view of that, that valley back there, that is amazing. These, these giant rocks are, are pretty cool. Again, I don't know why they're here, but they're, they're pretty awesome. To get to the rest of the boulders now, we do actually have to walk up this um, little hill right here. And uh, if you guys have been watching my videos for some time now, you know that hills are, are the bane of my existence. I have no stamina and I will probably be extremely winded by the time I get to the top of this hill. Also, I have to watch where I walk because uh, right before I started filming, there were like 20 people out here with dogs, letting them all relieve themselves, which is, which is fine. That's what this area is, I guess, for, but um, Everybody did clean up after themselves. Everybody who had a pet who went number two did clean up after their, their pets. But my assumption is probably not everybody is a responsible pet owner. And there's probably one or two um, uh, doggy nuggets somewhere scattered throughout this uh, area. So if you do come out here to see these boulders, make sure you, um, you watch where you walk because there's, there's probably poop out here somewhere. Ooh, mid-hill break. Yes, I'm already taking a break from walking up the not all that steep, not all that long hill, but I wanted to show you guys something pretty interesting about the first boulder here I came across, and that is a borehole. Look at that. It actually goes all the way through the entire boulder. That is pretty neat. So a borehole is actually an indication that um, they did some drilling and some dynamiting, I believe, out here. So my assumption, my guess would be, is that these boulders probably did come from this very mountain right here. When they were actually building the rest area, they probably stumbled upon lots of big stones like this. In fact, this entire hill is probably made up of, of big stones, big rocks, just like this. And they had to bore into them, hit them with some dynamite, blow them up to actually 
flatten out what they wanted to do. It's not like a big hill made of dirt where you just bring a bulldozer and, and flatten out the hill, flatten out the areas. You wanna build something. If you come across a bunch of big boulders, big rocks like this, you gotta do some dynamiting. And that's my assumption. That's what this is from. It's a borehole from when they had to dynamite the area to flatten it, to actually build the rest area. So these stones probably came from right here on this hill. And instead of breaking these up or throwing them away or dumping them down into the woods or something like that, they use them as decor. That is a very interesting idea. And I, I approve that. Okay, I have made it to the, uh, the very top of the hill. I'm only slightly winded right now, but look at this amazing view. Amazing, maybe that's not the word I wanna use, but this view of Interstate 81, kind of awesome. Or maybe I'm just using that little pan there to catch my breath. You guys be the judge of what I just, what I just, just did there. But anyway, we're at the top of the hill right now. And as you can see, there's all kinds of other boulders up here. It's almost like a little bit of a, a Stonehenge, if you will. Pretty awesome rest area. I'm loving this. And again, the five-year-old in me is loving these giant stones and just thinking about how, man, when I was a kid, I would have loved to climb these. There was just a family sitting right here on this one, getting their photo taken. I can only just imagine over the decades, how many kids have climbed these rocks, how many families have gotten their picture taken with these rocks. That's the kind of thing I love. That's why I love roadside attractions and roadside oddities, and even just weird things like boulders at a rest area, because I just imagine how many happy memories things like this brought to, to kids, brought to families. I mean, I, again, a five-year-old comes out here, they get their picture taken, they climb on these rocks, and then decades later, they're driving out here with maybe their kids at that point, and they stop at this rest area, and they can go, hey, Billy, I remember when I was your age, my parents stopped here with me heading down to Florida or, or wherever we were going, and we played on these rocks. That is so awesome. So many memories made right here, most likely. I've been, I've been seeing memories getting made right here over the last like 15 or so minutes that I've been out here. This is pretty awesome. I just, again, I just, I love this sort of thing. This is awesome. And these, these boulders are just really, really cool. I do of course have to climb at least, um, I don't know, one of these. There, there we go. I'm sure I'm the, uh, the first person to ever do this. No, I'm like the billionth person probably to perch themselves on top of this rock. Probably adults, teens, kids alike have all been out here, have all taken their photos on top of these rocks, have climbed these rocks and then realized they didn't quite know how to get down from the rock. Is this the point where I, I break my arm on the way to Florida? It could happen, possibly. Hey, and and we made it, I'm, I'm safe. I'm not actually noticing any other boreholes in any of these other big boulders. I'm sure they, they probably have them. Again, I'm, I'm pretty sure these are from when they were actually building the rest area. I could be wrong about that. There is no sign indicating as to why these are here, kind of wish they would. I mean, I know they're just stones. Probably most people do not care as to why these are here. Just the fact that they are here is good enough for them. They can get their photo on them. They can sit on them. That's probably all they honestly care about. But I would just, look, look at this, it's like a little seat. I would just love to know why these are here. But again, my assumption is this whole hill is probably made from stone just like this. And they had to do some dynamiting to actually build the rest area. And in, like I said, instead of just throwing these out, they, they use them as decor. And that is so awesome. They, they decided to, to plant some memory makers, if you will. That's what I'll call these. These right here, these aren't, these aren't boulders. These aren't, just, these aren't just boulders that were left over from, from dynamiting, from the, the building of the rest area. These are, these are memory makers. So if I'm not mistaken, I think the total number of boulders out here is um, eight. One, two, then uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight boulders, eight memory makers out here. I don't actually see any other ones. I did kind of venture over to the other side of the rest area. There were no other big boulders over there. So I do believe it's just eight, eight large boulders that are out here. But again, still totally awesome. So cool. I feel as though I should climb every single one of these. I should put my feet on top of every single one of these. Probably a terrible idea. Again, this is where I break my ankle or my, my wrist or my head or something. But just look at these. I'm, I'm just, I'm getting, I'm, I'm loving this. If you guys have ever actually been out to this rest area, maybe you've climbed these rocks, you've taken photos of your kids on these rocks, you've had your photos taken on these rocks, leave your comments down below. I want to hear from 
from you guys. I think I'm gonna skip climbing that one and the two up front as well because they're, they're very large. But if you guys have been out here, I wanna hear your thoughts. I wanna hear your memories. Let me know, because I, I guarantee you, at least some of you, some of you watching have stopped at this rest area and probably have seen these boulders, probably have had your picture taken with these, probably took somebody else's photos on these rocks. I'm gonna hear from you guys. Let me know about your memories with these, with these memory makers. Okay, so before I let you guys go, I have to show you something pretty interesting. At the very, very top of a hill, there's this stone sticking out from the ground. This here, I think, pretty much vindicates me if I'm not mistaken. This here, I believe, is what the entire hill is actually made of. Just this, just this stone right here, this granite, or whatever this is. This is what the entire hill is probably actually made up of. And this is some of it sticking out at the very, very top. So yes, I'm saying they probably, most likely, had to do some dynamiting to actually build this rest area. And this here kind of proves that. So that is pretty awesome. There's a big one here, the Samar sticking out there. Yeah, right now we're definitely walking on top of a lot of, a lot of stone. And uh, like I said, to build this, they did not do any bulldozing. They, they had to do some dynamiting. I'm sure that's very, very hard granite or something else like that. So pretty awesome, pretty, pretty cool. And I do believe that does prove my, my theory. If you guys have different theories though, I mean, let's, let's hear them. Oh wait, look, more rocks. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say I'm right. All right guys, so now that I'm extremely winded from walking up and down this hill and climbing up and down on top of these rocks, I'm gonna let you guys go because again, I do have a very, very long drive down to Florida, probably a good 13 or so hours until I do make it to my final destination. But I just had to show these to you guys. These are amazing. These stones are so cool. I'm gonna say these are definitely 100% a roadside attraction. And the reason why I'm gonna say that is because just in the last 20 or so minutes that I've been filming this video, I've seen at least a dozen families get their photos taken on top of these rocks. And to me, that makes this a roadside attraction, something families want to actually remember and get their photos taken with. These are awesome. These are so cool. And my my kudos to the people who actually built this rest area and the fact that they actually took the time to do something like this, to, to use the stones as decor, as memory makers. My guess is probably um, the Virginia Department of Transportation. They're probably behind this. And if it is, my, my hat's off to you for, for actually doing something this amazing. But again, I just wanted to show this to you guys because these are awesome. And also, like I said, if you've ever actually been out here, please leave your comments down below. If you yourself have had your photos taken on top of these boulders, or you took your family's photos on top of these boulders, or just if you walked up to the top of this hill to see these boulders, leave the comments down below. But all right, guys, like I said, I've got a lot of driving to do, so I'm gonna let you guys go. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt, where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon do help support the show and brings us out to awesome and amazing places like this. Here in Christianburg, Virginia, pretty, Awesome, and oh, there, th see, that's what I'm talking about. If you do come up here to see the boulders, watch your step. Not every dog owner is responsible, but all right, guys, if you watch this video all the way until the very end, I'm gonna say hashtag Virginia rocks. That's what I want, hashtag Virginia rocks. If you've been out here to see one of Virginia's boulder attractions, I can just keep them coming all day long, but I'm not going to because I've got to be driving all day long. So, all right, guys, again, with that, thanks for watching. Like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button, then I will see you in tomorrow's video. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. Bye.